All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Google AdWords smart bidding. Uh, so I'm going to go through the four different smart bidding strategies, um, everything you really need to know about smart bidding. Uh, the main thing is Google has switched from bidding for clicks to bidding for conversions. It's been kind of a gradual shift. They've gone through different bidding strategies. Uh, they used to have something called the conversion optimizer. Um, so all these different types of tools that they've had. But now they have four smart bidding strategies. And the ultimate goal in Google AdWords is to drive conversions, drive sales, drive leads, whatever it is that you want. Um, so that's why you want to create your campaigns with the intention of moving to these smart bidding strategies. You can start with some of them and then eventually you want to move to the ones that are a little bit more powerful and that are going to give you the best return on investment. So uh, let's get right through it, right to it. So Google AdWords smart bidding is any Google AdWords automated bidding strategy uh, that uses machine learning to optimize for goals like conversions or return on ad spend. So Smart bidding uh, takes all different signals when people are searching things. So it's going to look at, okay, this, person's, this person is located in this location. They're a male or female. They're in this age range. They have this household income. They're searching on a desktop device. They're searching on a mobile device. Uh, they're searching this specific keyword. They're going to be clicking this specific ad and going to this specific landing page. Google has a ton of data on all that, all those things. So what they do is they look at what's most likely going to lead to a conversion and they bid higher for you. Or they'll bid more aggressively on the things that are more likely to lead to a conversion. So if your conversion is generally, you know, let's say a 35-year-old male who lives in the Northeast and who's in the top 20% of household income uh, while he's searching a specific set of keywords on a mobile phone it's really hard to set bid adjustments yourself for all of those different things so what you do is you put your campaign out there and you let it get some data let it get some conversions uh, you're going to go through some time where you know maybe you're wasting a little bit of your budget to test but ultimately the goal is to get to these smart bidding strategies so that google can look at all of those factors at once when someone's searching for something and they can you know bid a little bit higher for you to get that conversion rather than your competitor getting it so um, let's get into the four different bidding strategies. Uh, so it's enhanced CPC, aka enhanced cost per click. There's maximized conversions. There's target CPA, and there's target return on ad spend. Uh, I kind of rank these in kind of the order that I would use them. So if I'm setting up a new campaign, I generally set manual cost per click campaigns, and I enable enhanced CPC. So what that means is I set a bid for my keywords. Um, so maybe it's a dollar, two dollars. It really depends on competition. So I set a bid for my keywords, and it. I set up conversion tracking and enhanced CPC will allow Google to bid either higher or lower automatically. Maximize conversions, uh, just focus solely on conversions. Now the one thing about all four of these bidding strategies is you need conversion tracking if you're going to be using them. You can't just be sending clicks to your website with no conversions added, nothing like that. Um, so we have other tutorials about how to set up conversions on your website. Um, you know, whether it's your leads, your sales, it's, it's very easy to set them up with Google Analytics um, and then track them into Google AdWords. So let's get into the four different bidding strategies. Uh, the first one and the one I generally start my campaigns with is enhanced cost per click. Uh, so it's a smart bidding strategy that uses your bids. So you set bids with enhanced CPC, you'll set, let's say, a dollar bid. Um, so it uses those bids and your campaign data and signals like, you know, geographic, demographic, device, and more to increase bids when conversions are more likely and decrease bids when conversions are less likely. So let's say I'm bidding uh, $1, I'm selling, you know, a marketing software. Obviously, I'd probably have to bid higher, but let's just use this example. So let's just say someone's, someone's Googling marketing software and Google... Google AdWords, you know, has data that says this person's more likely to convert. They're automatically going to be able to take my $1 bid and put it as high as, you know, $1.50, $1.75, even up to $2. Um, I think the highest they go is double. Um, I'm not positive. They've kind of changed that a few times, so I'm not, don't quote me on that especially. But um, basically, they're going to increase your bid if they see a, a signal that says, okay, this person's more likely to convert. Uh, it doesn't mean that's always going to lead to a conversion. It just means they have signals that say this person is more likely. Now, if there's someone else searching for something and they fall into a category that's less likely to convert, they're going to take your $1 bid and they're going to lower it, maybe all the way down to $0.30, cents, for example. Um, and you're only going to bid $0.30 cents on that because they have data that says we're not. there's no reason to bid more aggressively for this. If we get this click, we get this click. Um, so with enhanced CPC, what ends up happening is you generally pay a little bit higher than you're bidding. Um, but you're more likely to get conversions because you're giving Google some, you know, a chance to basically use their signals that you don't, you can't always keep up with that at all times of the day at all, you know, when it's a Tuesday and someone's 
searching for something and clicking on an ad, it's it's hard for you to know exactly what's most likely when people are going to convert. Google can see that, so Enhanced CPC allows them to give a little bit more power to Google um, where they use your bids and they're allowed to adjust your bids up or down based on whether or not they think a conversion is going to happen. So the second one is maximize conversions. This one's pretty simple. Maximize conversions, you don't set up bids at all. You just set maximize conversion bidding strategy, and Google is going to try to drive as many conversions as possible within your budget. Uh, what generally ends up happening is you have a pretty high cost per click because Google is going for searches that are more likely to convert, which means advertisers are generally bidding higher on them. So they use all of that data to try to maximize conversions for you. Personally, I like to start with enhanced CPC. Uh, sometimes I'll test maximize conversions for like a week. Um, so one thing you can do is when you start getting a lot of data uh, with another bidding strategy is to switch to maximize conversions for a week. Um, you can set max bid limits. Um, so you're able to kind of say, okay, I want you to maximize conversions, but I don't want you to bid more than $5 uh, for a single click or something like that. So it gives you a little bit more power like that. Um, number three, so the ultimate goal is to get into these two bidding strategies, target return on ad spend and target cost per acquisition. So this is when, let's say for example, I'm bidding a dollar on this marketing software, I end up getting 30 conversions over a month period and each of my conversions costs $75. So every time I get a conversion, it's 70, it costs me $75 per conversion. Um, now I have all this data, I can tell Google, okay, I want you to keep getting me conversions and I want you to keep getting them at $75 or you know will be a little bit aggressive. I want to start getting conversions at $70. So I want you to, you set up a bidding strategy and you tell Google, okay, use my previous data to try to get me conversions at $70 per conversion. Uh, so what Google does is it takes, it takes you saying that, you saying I want conversions at $70 per conversion and they're only going to go after the keywords, the people, the audience, you know, every signal they have, they're only going to go after people who they think are going to convert for you. And the ultimate goal for them is to drive you as many conversions as possible at the lowest possible price because, you know, if you're an advertiser and you're driving conversions, you're going to make more money over time. So target CPA is essentially, you know, the, the best way to look at it is, you know, let's say you're selling something and your profit is $100 on that. Um, so you sell something for $50 or you sell something for $150 and your profit's $100. So it costs you $50 to sell it. Let's say that for example. So now if your profit's $100, then every conversion you get that comes in under $100, um, specifically, you know, under $95 really, I mean, you need at least a little bit of a profit margin, you're making some money. So ultimately what you're trying to do is get to a target CPA um, that's going to be profitable for you so you can continue to drive conversions month after month, year after year, um, and not really have to worry about too much besides, you know, going in and optimizing your campaigns, adding new keywords, things like that. Um, target return on ad spend, very similar to cost per acquisition, except you're taking it one step further. So this is the best possible bidding strategy on Google. Um, it's not always easy to set up because not every company knows their return on everything. Let's just say, for example, you have an e-commerce website, you're selling thousands of items and you start using Google AdWords. You can set a target return on ad spend. So if you say, okay, my monthly budget's gonna be a thousand bucks, I want my target return on ad spend to be 100%. So my return needs to be 100% uh, of what I made. So your return on ad spend is basically, if, if you spend $1,000 and you have 100% return on ad spend, then you made $1,000, you pretty much split even. Um, so a 0% return on ad spend means you made $0. So with the target return on ad spend or target ROAS bidding strategy, you're able to tell Google, okay, I want you to bid for, you know, 150% of my return on ad spend. So that means every time I spend $1,000, I want to make $1,500 in revenue. Um, so that's basically what you're telling Google. Um, it's, it, it really helps tighten your marketing campaigns because you can keep track of how much you're spending, how much you're bringing in. Um, and there's different strategies for this. I mean, some companies might just focus on a 100% return on ad spend and realize that their company is going to be growing because they're building this base of customers who's going to continue to buy from them. Um, otherwise, if you're just selling one product and people can only buy it one time, uh, you want to maximize your return on ad spend. So I've had clients use this bidding strategy and with specific campaigns, they've had return on ad spend above 300%. Um, this is the best bidding strategy is target return on ad spend because you're telling Google, okay, I want you to spend X amount of dollars and bring me X amount of dollars in. And that's it. It's not about clicks. It's not about impressions. It's not about click through rate. All those things matter. But ultimately what you're trying to do is drive revenue. You're trying to drive profit. Um, so understanding your profit margins, understanding how much you're making, and then, uh, you know, incorporating your advertising spend in with that is just the best marketing strategy. It's, it's what big companies do. I mean, it's what they're all doing is using 
target return on ad spend. Um, if you don't have that specifically, you use target CPA um, and you just try to get conversions at the lowest possible cost. But this takes it a step further. So they're able to say, okay, this conversion's worth $15, this conversion's worth $80, this conversion's worth you know $2,000. So there's all these different types of things and you're able to say, okay, we spent $2,000 to get this $1,000 conversion. So that's not very profitable for us. That's not something we want to continue doing, but we spent $50 here to get this $200 conversion. So we're going to keep going after those. So that's how it works. Um, the more you're selling, the easier it is to kind of monitor and manage these types of things um, because Google's able to kind of take it all into account. So um, the next part of this video is going to be us showing you how to use some of these smart bidding strategies in AdWords and what it actually looks like, including portfolio bid strategies um, and the importance of managing them. Okay, so if we come back into AdWords here, I'm going to start by going through <clears throat> the enhanced CPC and the maximized conversions bidding strategies. Um, so I have my Surfside PPC account open here. I have my campaign newsletter and free ebook. It's the one I'm always running. That's uh doesn't really get much traction or anything, but... Um, when you're creating your campaign and you're going to your bidding strategies, a few things that are important. First, you want a goal for your campaign. Um, so if you're bidding for conversions, you want your goal to be leads or sales. Um, I don't really use website traffic. Um, so sales or leads. Um, and then you want to have conversion tracking set up. Uh, we have a ton of tutorials for conversion tracking, so make sure you check those out. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you um, a couple of the bidding strategies and kind of how they work. So if you come down to the settings here, um, it's generally just going to look like this. Um, so I have manual CPC here and then I click this help increase conversions with enhanced CPC that's all you need to do now we're using enhanced CPC bidding um, if you go to change bidding strategy they're going to kind of have a drop down here so there's manual CPC if you click on enhanced um, you can actually use a portfolio strategy I'm going to show you that in a second um, but if you just come here and click on manual and enable enhanced then that means you're using enhanced CPC bidding so that's one bidding strategy uh, the other one here, you could just do maximize conversions. Uh, so pretty simple, just keep it like that, save. And now Google is just going to put my ad out there and try to get as many conversions as possible. Um, so that one, you're basically leaving it wide open to Google, giving them a lot of options. Uh, now when we come into our portfolio bid strategy, so let's say I'm at this page, I click on tools, um, under shared library, portfolio bid strategy. So you absolutely want to set these up. Um, so you come in here. Um, you can see I have a couple I've just created uh, in the past, but there's one for Dynamic Beach Doormats, uh, one of the campaigns I made as a tutorial recently. Um, and what's it, what it's going to do is it's going to show, um, when you have this bid strategy on, all the data um, for that bid strategy. So you can really test different things and see you know, what works best for you. Um, but if I click here and click Create a New Bid Strategy, um, I could do something like Enhance CPC. You click on Select Campaign, so I add it directly to my campaign, Done, um, you know, Enhanced CPC newsletter free ebook save and now as simple as that it's an active bid strategy um, it's on the one campaign I have running um, it's active now so click on plus and you can also set up things like target CPA and target return on ad spend here um, so just a couple more options that you have um, you could also do outranking share search page location I never really do those things I never really do maximize clicks um, so I basically stick to enhance CPC and then I move to target CPA and then I move to target return on ad spend if applicable. Um, so the last thing I want to show you is how to kind of find your target CPA and different things like that and some strategies for setting that up. So that's going to be uh, the next part of the video. Okay, so last but not least, um, I can't show you too much here, but let's just say you're starting to get some data. Um, when you go into the portfolio bid strategies, you're going to see a page that looks more like this. So what it means, it's going to show up here. Um, I have target CPA enabled here. It's going to say strategy status active. And down here, you can kind of see, okay, our average target CPA, it's going to pull what your average target CPA is for whatever date range you select. Um, so you definitely want to use um, a good date range here, at least a couple weeks, or, you know, it depends on how much you spend really. But right here, this, what this is saying is, you know, over this time period, we spent about $1,500. Um, we've driven about 25 conversions. Our conversion rate is about 2.5%. Um, and our actual CPA is about $60. Now, our average target CPA is, um, the difference is here is it shows what it is for that selected time period. Our actual CPA is what our current CPA is. So right now the strategy target is $65. So what I can do is come in here, click this, and just lower it down to, let's just say $59, because that's our actual CPA here. Click Save. So now we're going to be trying to get uh, conversions at you know $59 here. If we scroll down a little bit, you can kind of see some data here. Um, average target CPA, conversion value, you can kind of adjust these things depending on what you want to see. 
Um, the last thing I just kind of want to show you real quick is when you come in here, you can set things, you know, your target CPA here. You could also set maximum and minimum bidding lim limits. So if you find that you're bidding a little bit higher than you want uh, within your budget, then what you can do is lower your maximum bidding limit. Um, the ultimate thing here is testing. Um, so once you start driving conversions and you have, you know, your target CPA becoming established, you definitely want to come in here and adjust your maximum bid limits, your target CPA and things like that so that you can keep driving more conversions. Um, and then any changes you make, just save them. And that's that. So um, thank you for Thank you for joining our tutorial today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, the, the bidding strategies, it, it's very difficult when you're when you're getting started, but once you kind of get into that target CPA or even target return on ad spend, uh, it becomes a lot easier to really manage things and keep things optimized. So uh, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks again for watching the video.